Every time you enter a search term in Scrivener, the criteria of your search are saved into a collection called Search Results. This means every time you click on that collection, you see the results of the last search you ran. This collection is saved along with your project and it's available to you until you run your next search. The search collection also allows you to view and change label and status of your items. Right-click in the collection header area and select Show Label and Status Columns. Now, if you run your next search term, this collection will be gone again and replaced with the results of your next search. But what if you want to keep these results? You could of course just make a new collection with these items, just like you can from your binder. Select the items you want to collect, right-click, Add to Collection, New Collection. Or use the plus icon here at the top right of the collection area. But what if you want this collection to be permanently updated, always reflecting your search results? A standard collection can't do that. You can add files, delete files, but as long as you don't do that, it always stays the same. But there is a function in Scrivener to keep your collections permanently updated. If you go to the search menu next to the search bar, all the way to the bottom it says Save Search as Collection. Let's see what that does. For example, let's assume you want to make a collection that contains every scene of your screenplay where a certain character shows up. You enter the name here in the search box and then select Save Search as Collection. Name the collection any way you like and hit OK. Scrivener now creates a new selection and as you can see there is a magnifying glass icon next to the collection title. This indicates that this collection is a safe search collection and will continually update according to the search term you entered when you created it. Let's see how that works. I'm going to make another saved search collection, this time with another character of my script. Again, enter the search phrase and select Save Search as Collection from the search menu. Now I'm going to change the name of this character in one scene. Let's change this one here to Becky and see what happens. For now, nothing, because the collection is still open. If you pick another selection and go back, you see that the scene is gone, because it no longer contains my search phrase. When I go back to the scene and undo my changes, let's do that real quick. You see, the scene pops up in the original search collection again. There are a few limitations though you need to be aware of with saved search collections. 1. You cannot rearrange the order of the items. The saved search collection will always show you the search order, which is also the order of the binder. 2. You cannot save searches performed using the binder selection only option here in the search menu. The binder selection is just temporary and changes every time you click the binder. If this Save Search as collection is grayed out and you can click it, make sure Search Binder Selection Only is deactivated. I think these saved search collections in Scrivener are a very powerful feature for keeping things organized, especially when you have lots and lots of binder items to deal with. If you find this tip useful, leave me a comment below or subscribe to my channel. There are more useful tips to come. If you'd like to receive the Writer's Territory newsletter and have tips and how-tos for writers delivered directly to your inbox, click on the info card in the upper right corner of this video and subscribe on the Writer's Territory's website.